Hello everyone and welcome to Two Point Hospital Culture Shock, a new DLC for Two Point Hospital. I know it's a new game on the channel, we've been playing it in a live stream uh, because I already knew I would get the key for this uh, for this new DLC and we had to get to level 6 etc. And I didn't have time to uh, make videos for that so we played uh, this game for like 4 hours on the live stream. I spent some time in it uh, off stream as well and today we're gonna take a look at the new DLC. So to unlock the new DLC you have to get one star on the Flemington level and then this one will pop up. Culture Shock. Um, so head to the Arts District to help artist Zara Fitzpocket design a cure for the ailing culture of Two Point County. So yeah let's uh, jump straight into it. Welcome to Plywood Studios where the producers of a new medical drama have asked you to run their show. They want a real administrator to add validity, dynamism and an amusing gimmicky quality on the show titled Backwards. Roderick Cushion will be playing a senior doctor who's inexplicably forgotten all his training. They've decided to call the character Dr. Roderick Cushion because well, I would actually rather not get into that again. It's just simpler for Mr. Cushion, okay? Let's leave it to that. To produce a compelling, county gripping hit show, you'll need to work on developing your main character, Dr. Roderick Cushion. People don't like characters who treat water. It reminds them of their desperate, repetitive existences. Roderick won't fraternize with the rest of the cast on this breaks. Not on his salary. Uh, so he's got his very own trailer. If you can't find him, he'll probably be in there. Oh, and he injects some urgency into proceedings uh, the actors will be curing trying to at least real patients what could go wrong uh not much i think let's see i hope uh, i really hope to find some new things in the game okay so we start off with a pretty small yeah little room over here so we need to train road cushion and build a marketing so let's do that before I can train him, I need a, a training room. So we need to go to rooms and then training. And we need to build a little training room. I'm not sure, but this will only cost us money. And that's not a good thing. Let's see. Training desk. So this is all still from the, from the base game. So we also had to... Uh, build a little training room, etc. Some, uh, some of these little things will make sure the trainings go well uh, we need a reception so that visitors can check in okay uh, very much true a reception and a reception also needs a assistant there you go i still think we might need a gp's office otherwise we won't be earning any money and i don't think that's a good thing filing cabinet some nice weighing skills and extinguisher I always build the uh, the rooms in the same way, by the way. Uh, not sure if this place needs a radiator, by the way. So I will remove it. All the doctors drink coffee. So I'll add a coffee machine. And a nice little bookcase. Beautiful. So this guy is a student doctor. And he doesn't know anything, as you can see. That's not good at all. So maybe in the meantime, it would be good to hire an actual doctor. Mrs. Cat Beer, let's uh, hire you. And I'm gonna throw you into that room to make sure that doctor doesn't do anything. Um, so we need further diagnosis for uh, this little patient over there. So let's build a, a general diagnosis room with the, with the easy scan and the examination table, filing cabinet, extinguisher, all the stuff that you are used to. So this is all good. Let's build the room and hire a nurse. Um, Mr. Tommy Doolittle. You're going to be our new nurse. So we also need a pharmacy, as you can see. This little guy or girl, not sure. Needs a pharmacy. Let's see. Pharmacy. Let's add a door. A drug mixer and then all the little stuff as well so all good let's finish up the pharmacy and let's hire another nurse 
Quit pharmacy management. That's perfect. Clementine Mania. I'm gonna hire you. So a lot of people are waiting outside. So uh, we have to add some benches. So they can sit down. Have a drink. And maybe drink or read the newspaper. Perfect. Diagnosis decision. One of our patients, Maya Longbottom, has been sent to all of our diagnosis rooms. We are only 76% sure of the diagnosis. I'm gonna send the patient for treatment anyway. I think it's about time that we uh, start training our doctor, Dr. Roderick Cushion. And uh, let's see. Let's train him with diagnostics. Well, let's hire a trainer and start the training. Another thing that we need is a staff room because we have staff and they need a break and they need to sit down. So a little simple staff room here. As you can see, we don't have a lot of space. So we need to be careful with the stuff that we have. Let's add a punching bag. Always good to have that in a staff room and a drink and a snack machine. And that's perfect. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Concertos, I think. Um, yeah, we didn't really need a ward in order to treat them. Um, yeah, let's uh, get the patient to wait. And in the meantime, we will add a ward uh, right over there. The wards need to be quite big. So there's always a nurse station in it. Then a little uh, changing room. And then we need to add the beds. Let's see. Um, yeah, like this. That's all good. We can add another screen. Maybe a locker here and there. Yeah, perfect. Some lockers over there. A filing cabinet. Oh, some bins. I will add them all around the place. Because otherwise, people start throwing the trash on the ground. Could have made it. Nah, I couldn't. Can I make it? like this that looks much better perfect so now we have a ward add some benches outside of the ward of course i love benches i just place them all around the place and i think it's time to add another gp's office so i recently found out that you can copy a entire room which uh, is saving me a lot of time so I can just copy and paste the GIE office or the GP's office and hire another doctor. I think it might be good to have one with diagnostics and general practice. All right, so uh, train Roderick Cushion. He's now a trained uh, doctor. He now knows some diagnostics. That's good. So we still need to build a marketing room. And somehow our producer had an idea to kill off a patient. Not sure if that's a good idea, but we need a marketing room. I can do that. I'm going to build the marketing room right here. Not sure yet how I'm going to do it. Um, it needs to be four by four, I think. Yes. Okay, I'll make it a little bit bigger then. And then the door on this side and then a the marketing table and stuff like that. A marketeer's desk, two of them. A filing cabinet, a bin, all the good stuff. So apparently we killed off a patient and we've been given 25,000 by the producer for fulfilling their request. <laughs> That's all good. Now that the show is fully on the way, you'll start to receive requests from the show producers about what they think should happen next. If they see their ideas make it into the show, we'll receive some additional funding. People online can be mean about television or about anything really. When someone says something negative about the show, it will affect our reputation. Luckily, we can combat their cruel, cruel words by investing in some marketing. So let's do that. Hey, uh, we complete four marketing campaigns. Let's start one. Let's start off by a small campaign, uh, which will last for three months. It will only cost us 10k. Otherwise, it's going to be too expensive. And we need to have Roderick Cushion diagnose three different patients. That's going to be fun. Uh, where is he? There he is. I'm going to pick you up and I want you to work in this room. That's better. Cure six patients with stunt trouble. That's a new thing, I guess. Cure patients by diagnosing them and providing the treatment room. Okay, okay. And upgrade your machines if you can. 
but I don't think we already have something like that. For the marketing campaign, we also need a assistant who is trained on marketing, but we don't have one, I think. Let's see, assistants. Oh, we already have one. That's good. Let's see. So our assistant, let's see the job assignment. And then it's only about marketing for her. And then we will hire another assistant to work at the reception. Beautiful. I forgot to hire a janitor. You can see there's things breaking down at the moment. Um, so we need one with the maintenance. Yeah, that might be good. Oh, the show producers have an idea. Where can I check it? The show producers have an idea. We'll receive some additional funding if we make it happen. Complete an illness marketing campaign. Oh, that sounds... Uh, incredibly... Yeah, exciting. I don't know. First, we have to finish up our small uh, campaign. So we finally got Rodic Cushion to start working. He needs to diagnose some patients, but he's not doing anything. It's gonna take a break, really. Probably one of the worst employees I've ever seen. Oh well, I'm gonna add a uh, toilet to our little hospital. I always build the same layouts, by the way. I don't know why. If they work, then they work. So not much to change about that. Not sure if we need it, but I'm gonna put a fire extinguisher in the toilet anyway. And a little bin. Perfect. Earthquake warning, there were reports of low level seismic activity. Ooh, that's not good. And someone died already. Oh, and an earthquake. Luckily, we have a janitor. TV show review, proper garbage, nice costumes though. Minus five reputation. <laughs> okay, so our show is not that good, apparently. Um, so we have a staff challenge. I would love to have a really big plush staff room. A uh, level 4 staff room. That might be doable with this one. Let's see if I edit it. Maybe I can add some things like this. Right now it's level 3. But I think I can make it look better. I can add a plant. See? Almost already much better. And then add some posters everywhere. Clown poster. A little photo, a clock, so they know when they have to start working again. Oh, we have some new posters as well. I think they are part of the DLC. Some action posters, a rom-com poster, and a zombie poster. But still not what we needed. Maybe the coffee machine will help? No. Can I move the door? No. I can't do anything. The arcade. Maybe I can put uh, the arcade like this. And then another one. See, level 4. Perfect. We did it. Uh, complete 4 marketing campaigns. We needed to complete a illness marketing. Let's do that. And... Illness marketing. Let's do a ward campaign. Launch campaign. Okay, so these guys, they look like they have stun trouble. But we don't have any further diagnosis. We yeah. How do I do that? Do I need to add another general diagnosis? Or another doctor? Diagnosis decision? Mackie Dick? Of Macy? I don't know. Good name though. And a fracture ward is required. New illness, wardrobe malfunction. A change of bone related conditions caused by walking into or being crushed by a wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, okay. The patient is seeking treatment. We will need a fracture ward in order to treat them. We can do that. But first, I'm gonna copy this one, the general diagnosis. I'm not sure about that. Maybe I need another doctor. Let's do another GP's office. That might help. And let's hire a pretty good doctor. I hope this guy sent for treatment, sent home. How do I get this further diagnosis? Maybe if I upgrade the EC scan. Because right now, this entire plot is full. And I need another one. I can buy this one for 40k. Let's do that. Okay, so we still need to have that fracture ward. But I will wait until this one is finished. Almost there. And still these guys need further diagnosis. So I'm gonna copy this room first. To make sure that these guys get treatment. Get a nurse. Hopefully that will help. I can't move them or anything. Not sure. Not sure how to do that. Will this help? Nope. 
New diagnosis rooms. I just built one. Oh, see? I'm not getting in. Anyways, we need a fracture ward. Fracture ward right there. I always build very big fracture wards. Fracture wards. Some of these. And let's add a locker or two. A little filing cabinet. A weighing scale. All the good stuff. Extinguisher, of course. Very important. And then we need a plant and a coffee maker. Beautiful. Let's see. Hire another nurse. A very good one. Indeed. And we have a new illness discovered. Square eyes discovered. Our doctor have discovered a new illness. Uh, the sufferer's eyes have become square. <laughs> no kidding. And backlit. They need some anti-pixel medication. And to be told to sit a little further away from their screens. Okay, so uh, they just need a treatment in our pharmacy. That's good. Can do that. Ah, good. So we finally did it. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Stunt trouble. And we need a new room for that. I'm going to get the patient to wait for now. Because I might take a loan. Let's see. 50k. I'm going to take the loan. Just to build the new danger zone. Oh, that's a... Uh, that's a big room. It needs a lot of space. Ah, and I can already see why. Uh, yeah. And then the console. Perfect. A fire extinguisher, of course. All the little good stuff. We will put that in the room. Green poster, light-headed poster, stuff like that. And let's finish up. Let's see what we need for this room. Uh, Danger Zone needs a doctor, as you can see. And then we will hire this doctor, but we don't have any money for it. Almost there. Let's speed it up a bit. Please. Come on. Need the money. Perfect. Now Roderick Cushion is here. I don't want Roderick Cushion here. I want him to diagnose some patients. Did we do it? Perfect. So we've procured our very first stunt trouble patient. So we need five more and then we have the one star hospital. So we completed our marketing campaign. So that's uh, the thing that our show producers wanted. So that's good. We uh, only have to complete two more marketing campaigns. And finally, Rodic Cushion is diagnosing some patients. So in the meantime, I'm going to launch another campaign. And I, I guess we just have to wait until we cured six patients with the, with the stunt trouble. So I've decided to send Rodic Cushion for another training because he's not diagnosing any new patients so he's gonna teach them how to diagnose or he's gonna be taught how to diagnose patients even further with the diagnostics too ah see tv show review four out of five this is my show go show go that's much better got 10 reputation and we are losing a lot of money so i'm gonna increase the prices a bit all of them 10 10 percent up Otherwise, uh, we're going bankrupt. That's not uh, that's not a good thing. It's going to be a very short series on the channel if that happens. So, Ooh, we're finally into the good numbers again. So I increased prices a bit. And um, yeah, I hope that will help. We also got a new uh, producer ID. We need to add some posters. An action poster and a uh, rom-com. And a uh, zombie, I guess. Oh, that was already it. Oh, with the first poster, it was already done. We even came in 10k by the producer for fulfilling their request. That's good. We needed that money. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Turtle hat. Okay. We need to research head offices. Yeah, I won't be able to do that right now. So I'm going to send the patient back home. And also another new illness. Writer's block. So you can really see in this new DLC, they, uh, yeah, they invented a lot of new illnesses. It's perfectly normal and we'll send the patient for uh, treatment to the psychiatry. And that's good. Somehow, Mr. Rotor Cushion is now treating people. And he's not diagnosing anyone. He's doing a good job though. But I just want him to diagnose. Otherwise, we won't be able to get the, yeah, the one-star hospital. Uh, so I'm going to take a look at his job assignment. So Rodic Cushion. Rodic will work anywhere he can. Ah, that doesn't work. That would have been too simple, wasn't it? I'm just going to throw him right there. And hopefully he will diagnose some new patients. Let's see if he's doing a good job. Apparently he did. Oh, that didn't work. 
If the GP isn't sure about the diagnosis, they will send the patient to another diagnosed room. Okay. Why doesn't it work? That's strange. Anyways. Surgery required. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Unlimited. Lime. Oh, lime lit. Okay. Complete more rejectors to unlock surgery. So I won't be able to do that right now. So I'm gonna send the patient home. Head office. No, send patient home. Home. I, I won't be able to do that right now. And we need an injection room. Okay, I can build an injection room. That's no problem. And uh, let's see. Room. Injection room. Right there. And let's see. A fire extinguisher. All the good stuff. Let's put it in there. And finish up the building. And we need to hire a nurse. Oh, a really expensive. No. The less expensive one. Psychiatry is really busy. I'm gonna add another one. Make it a bit bigger. Add some nice stuff in there. A trophy case. There is already a trophy case in there. A bookcase. And we'll finish it up with some benches. Much better. And I'm gonna copy the toilet to the other side as well. I can't find him. Rodic cushion. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, is he gone again? Is he outside for a walk? Let's see, staff, and then doctors. Mr. Rotary Cushion, what is he doing? What was he doing? There's nobody here. What are you doing? Okay, so they built a new part for our hospital, and we needed a pest control let's build that one quickly and it's not much going on here so a fire extinguisher and stuff like that and maybe an aircon unit and that's all good a nice little plant and that's all good let's see what we need is a nurse for this room um maybe get one with i don't know let's get this one Meanwhile, Mr. Road Recursion is back at work. You can already see this one does not have a head anymore. And uh, we also need a deluxe clinic. I just saw someone walking around with a light bulb as a head. So, oh, we did it. That's good. Congratulations. Your hospital has been awarded a one star reading. Ooh, finally, that took, uh, took a bit longer than expected. So you've decided to change your arm in show business. Yes, I did. Continue to fester in the realm of fiction or return to reality and get back to work. So I'm always really into uh, getting everything finished 100%. But we will do that in the next episode. So the first episode, I just wanted to uh, give you guys a quick look at the new DLC. I think they added some uh, nice little features like the reputation and Mr. Horrible Guy, Dr. Roderick Cushion. Who is just doing whatever he wants. It gives the uh, game some... Uh, yeah, it's, it's not really game changing. But some nice little uh, features. I'm really curious what the rest of the DLC uh, will have. So yeah, we will see that in the next episode. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, uh, make sure you hit the like button. And if you didn't do it already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So you won't miss out on anything new. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. Goodbye.